You ever have a moment where you're just like, is this my life? Hello friends and welcome back to The Dork's Head. I'm the dork in the road and it's new bike day again. I'm the dork in the road and I want to be your internet riding buddy, so please consider subscribing. As you can see, I've got the trailer hooked up. My dad will be here any minute because he's going to ride with me and we are driving to Medford to pick up another new bike because I'm getting the Norden today. It's unbelievably ridiculous that this is a thing that's happening to me. For me, with me, the Tenere thing just came out of nowhere, but I've decided not to give up my Norden pre-order. I'm going to get it and do a bunch of Norden versus Tenere content for you guys. And at the end of the summer, we'll see which one I end up taking on my one, maybe two BDR trips. First things first, so we gotta go pick this Norton up. So I'm headed to Medford to Oregon Motorcycle Adventures KTM. We're gonna get it today. So let's go. We're in the truck. What day is it, Dad? Uh, new bike day. New bike day. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go to Medford. It's about three hours. So what a ridiculous week. So just for the record, it is Tuesday and I bought the Tenere on Friday. So two new bike days within four days of each other it's insane it's i'm a, unheard of i'm obnoxious i'm angry with myself like i would be annoyed if i weren't me. hell i am me and i'm annoyed so just know lots of great content to come let's go get this bad boy you excited i'm excited yeah also just to answer your question about why i'm not riding at home one it's three hours straight up the freeway, which is not what I want to do on a bike that isn't even broken in yet. Um, and two, we just got hit with this super freak winter storm and there's literally snow between there and us and it's snowing in Medford, I think right now. So hopefully it's just wet by the time we get there, but I just, eh, nah, I'm going to bring it home on the trailer. So it's going to get dirty, which sucks, but it is what it is. So let's go get it. Three hours later. There it is. It does not turn. I can go out and move it for you by hand. Well, that's what I'm gonna do if I have to. <laughs> now she's straightening. Now she's straightening. Hold on, let's curb. I don't care. An expert. Get, get a little curb, get a little curb. Oh, you missed I curb. didn't even get any curb. This is the human stuff that people enjoy. I'm terrible at backing up a trailer. Well, you made it. it. Took you 14 tries. Hey, a 32 point turn is still a turn. We're at Oregon Motorcycle Adventures in Central Point. And we're gonna go inside and see what if they have any Nordens that they want to just give me. We made it. The weather has been ridiculous. It was snowed for a while up on top, and it was pouring rain, then it was sunny. So we're not counting on this to continue. But yeah. you, Dustin? Yep. What's up? My bed. Ben, nice to meet you. Yeah. Long time. Yeah, yeah, right. a while, yeah. I feel like you're doing friends. Yeah. <laughs> Just think about picking up a bike, if that's possible. Yeah, we can do that. Sweet. Heck yeah. It's super weird, like, when we were getting them, or when they came out, they're like, how many do you want? And we're like, I don't know, I don't know if these are going to sell good, or are they going to be Deal's done, about to get the bike. This is Dustin here at Oregon Motorcycle Adventures in Central Point. Come see him. Uh, he had one of the only Nordens in the state and he held it for me and that's awesome. Easy deal, it's all finished. So, cool place, come check it out. Any thoughts or words of wisdom for the people? Uh, no, just keep riding. Yeah, keep riding, stay safe. All right, let's get this bike. Coming in to pick up his new motorcycle. Operated clutches these days, so just make sure you always have a little bit of play. If you don't have any play, you'll put your clutch up. No, I'm not at 25. I've even had it down so low it was hitting the rim nice. <laughs> a couple times, yeah. and it probably spun, but I didn't. You know. It's hard not to want to ride it at this moment. I get it. It is difficult <laughs> to think that I'm about to load it on a freaking trailer. Into sunshine. At least we'll see. That's what you're after. Nice that one. Yeah, that's why I'm annoyed there aren't many crash bar options for this. Yeah, but I'll take it easy on it until I get it. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thanks again for all your help. Of course. I'm sure I'll see you at some event right, somewhere. Thank you. Yeah, see ya. Ah, that's beautiful. Damn it, I hate how much I like it. I was hoping I just really like the Tenere <laughs> a lot more. This is quite a bike. 
What do you got on the back? A Norton. A Norton. What day is it, Dad? It's new bike day. New bike day. Well, the weather has not been kind to us. We got a little break in it here, but sadly, this bike is very wet. So look at the seat. Ugh, it's all wet. It is not new bike clean and will never be again. So that sucks about bringing it home, but I wasn't going to wait. Screw the weather. Here it is. So we're about an hour from home. Let's get there. Nice thing about this trailer when you got a bike with some ground clearance is you don't need to use the ramp to unload. Good. All right. I just been on the edge of the road here. This is way more comfortable than Tenere. What do you guys think? So many bikes in the garage. What's your first impression? It's I been... like the colors. Thank you. It's here in the garage, so I gotta deal with the trailer and stuff, but I'll catch up with you in a bit. The neighbor Daryl saw me unload the bike and had to come by and check it out. So what do you think, neighbor Daryl? Well, I've looked at it for all of 15 seconds, but uh, looks beautiful. It's already yeah. dirty. I know. I'm so annoyed that we had to bring it home in the rain, but it was better than not bringing it home at all. Oh, I can't believe here it is. And there's a Tenere. And there's a Norden. What the hell am I doing with my life? Running a freaking... Making your neighbor happy. Yeah, I know. It feels very similar. Yeah, that seat though, so much better. So much wider. Oh, it's harder to get your legs down, I feel like. I don't know. I've ridden it up the driveway, that's it. <laughs> well, here it is. Interesting week. Hell of a week. Two new bike days in one week. Why do I have this up so high? This looks stupid. I'm gonna lower it. Ugh. That's seriously a lot better. I, I felt like I was talking up to God. Anyway, hell of a week. And now I get to mod, accessorize, ride, oil change, evaluate both of them. So there's a lot of content coming. I hope you guys are interested in these bikes because I'm going to have a lot of content. Uh, I don't usually do like individual mod like installation videos because it doesn't seem to do well. You guys don't want to watch me work on stuff, which is fine because I don't like sharing when I work on stuff because I'm bad at it and fr I get frustrated a lot. But uh, I will, as I get the mods on, I'll do some mods videos. I'm going to try to do some direct comparison videos. I'm pretty excited to have these two bikes in my garage. I got out on the Norden just two miles last night in the dark because we got home so late. But I had to take it out even though it was raining. Already dirty anyway from the ride home. The first first impression is it's really wide when you sit on it compared to the Tenere especially. Second, when you get out there and twist the throttle, this is the fastest bike I've ever ridden. I'm pretty sure. It's as fast as the Pan America, that sort of surprising quickness almost scary fast so it'll be interesting to see if i kind of grow into it and how i feel about it but uh and it doesn't look like it should be that fast it's kind of a, it sneaks up on you which i like got some mods planned got some trips planned and working on a couple other things guys in fact i have something else to announce if you don't mind me taking a, a second out of this video but i'm doing the colorado bdr in august and i want you to come with me i'm doing it with this group this is a club actually in colorado it's a supported ride where they will portage all your gear for you. It's $100 a day. It's a seven-day ride on the Colorado BDR. And then there's a couple hundred extra dollars in there for either hotel rooms or camping along the way. And obviously your food and gas. But supported, not guided, but the routes are planned for you. Colorado BDR trip in, at the end of August. Last week of August, I think August 25th through September 1st. So if you're interested in that, there's a link in the description. And if you sign up, just make sure you put dork in there. There's a who referred you. You need to put dork in that box and uh, then we'll make sure we're all together. So I uh, hope you guys can come. Let me know in the comments if you can. Anyway, that's literally something I just finalized. So I just wanted you guys to know about it ASAP. But the Norton's here. We're gonna ride it. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you for coming along the new bike day adventure. Thank you to dad for coming with me. It's gonna be awesome. So much content coming. I hope you're as excited to watch it as I am to make it, but um, I'm gonna stop filming and start maybe riding. I gotta get a first ride video for you guys done. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you, and please do not forget to be excellent to each other. I thank you. Excellent!